right now. Hollywood Horrors. Oh, gosh. Oh, this just turned into a big job. A director battles rats. I'm working on horror stuff, and I've got rats in the attic. An actress and her children living with black widows. The last thing I want is for a black widow to bite one of my kids. With a kid that young getting bit by a black widow could be a fatality. Oh, my God. And a TV producer with an unwanted roommate. Since the dawn of history, rats and man have been at war. In Los Angeles County, there are an estimated 10 million rats living in the city. One for every human. Standing between them and us is Isotec. Across town, Gary arrives at the home of a couple under siege by rats. <laughs> they voted. Hi, yeah, how, how you doing? doing? I'm Gary with Isotech. I am glad to see you, let me tell you. Come on in. Look at that. I got one just like that. Yeah, I do horror stuff, and I do horror comics and horror movies, so... <laughs> yeah. These days, I'm a filmmaker. Uh, I produce horror films, and I produce horror TV shows. I used to publish comic books. They used to call me the most dangerous man in comics. What's going on over here? Uh, well, uh, the big the big issue for me is we got a real rat problem here. Like, we got rats up in the attic, and uh, they make a lot of noise. They do a lot of partying at night. They do a little bit of drinking. They keep us up late. So I'm really happy to see you. Yeah, I want to get to know these rats. Oh, yeah. And, and they're a nightmare. I hate rats, and I think it stems back to when I was a kid. My mom tells this story about there being this big rat in the window over my crib. So I'm sure that's why I hate rats, stemming from a deep childhood, unseated displeasure with, with the whole species. I can't stand rodents at all. They're up in the ceiling, and... Over uh, there too. How long have you guys lived here? Nine years. Nine years? I've been here for nine years. And the rat problem, how long? Uh, it's gotten real bad this year. This year, it's definitely been bad. Our dog has killed, like, three of them in the backyard. They weren't little mice. They were, like, about that big without the tail. OK. Yeah. So, they... so for nine years, on and off? Yeah, on and off. It's a long time. Yeah, well, you do a little battle with them, you know? And back in my office is where it's the worst. It's kind of funny that I'm, I'm working on horror stuff, and I've got rats in the attic. And my wife is a cancer survivor, so the doctors told me that stress. I'm OK. Uh, okay. <laughs> she's all right now. Mm -hmm. But they told me that I got to be careful with stress. She's a survivor of cervical and ovarian cancer. So for me, it's very important, her, her peace of mind. The first year was the, the toughest one. But after a year, I started regaining uh, strength, and I, I started feeling better. And now, on my third year, I'm, I feel really good. The doctors told us she's got a 50-50 shot of this stuff coming back within five years, and we're on year number three. And since I nearly lost her, and I'm just nerve-wracked, nerve-wracked. I can think of nothing less than, is this bothering my wife? Is this bothering my wife? Are they going to come down and bother my wife? It, it's very important to me to get these damn damn things out of the ceiling. Yeah, yeah. And, uh, they're more than the past. I mean, we're, yeah. we're dealing with the, your lifestyle. If they don't take care of this problem now, next thing you know, there's going to be rodent droppings in the house. That's the last thing you want, even for a healthy person. She's surviving cancer. So her immune system right now is down, it's not at 100%. So for her to be dealing with rodent droppings, she can end up back in the hospital. So he wants to take care of her, and I'm here to do that. Oh, the Terminator is back. OK, you guys. Cool. I'll go up there, and if uh, I run into anything, I'll just kill it and throw it down. <laughs> I'll scream like a little girl. <laughs> What's going to be up there? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe you can make a movie out of it. I'm going to go into uh, the office, and I'll hit the ceiling where I hear all the noise coming from. All righty. So I'm going to do that right now. OK. I see a trail. You see that little hallway right there? I hear them coming from, like, here. A rat just ran across right now. Coming up. Crawl through the floor into the house of death. 
The rat just took off. The techs go deep. There's all kinds of hair here. Rat hair. Nasty. Oh, man. And the traps come out. Looking head snapping good. 